everyone, this is Christy with AG Takes Over, and thanks for joining me. Uh, whether you're here for the first time, welcome. Quick bit about my channel, it's always about American Girl. Um, I post regularly, at least once a week. When I hit my one year anniversary, I said I'm going to go down to once a week instead of two. It's still two, sometimes three times a week. I just have a lot of ideas, and I like sharing things with you. So, I post at least once a week. That's what I commit to. Um... I post a lot of different content, but it's all related to American Girl. So unboxings and restorations and reviews and ramblings and tutorials and whatnot. Um, if you have been here for a while, you know that and you don't want to um, have to listen to me say it for very long. So let's move on. Um, by the way, if you haven't subscribed, consider doing so. Clicking the notification bell will let you know when I upload new videos, all the good stuff comment 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 because that's a big part of enjoying this is getting to read everybody's comments and interact with you the point of today's video is um just to show you some wigs on obviously you know this because you clicked on the video on quaddy 2.0 her name is hazel um i had this in my idea book and when i mention my idea book frequently people will say like in the comments Oh, could you do a video about blah, blah, blah? And if I like it, I'll say, I'll put it in an idea book. It is a physical thing. There's my idea book. I got some stickers at an event once and I put those on there. I'm like, there's my idea book. I put check marks on them when I've done them. And so there are a lot of ones on here that still don't have check marks. Um, so in my idea book had been the idea of um, something to do with all the wigs that we have, either showing all of the wigs, which seems like it would be a really long video, or picking dolls and putting a few wigs on them. And then I saw Shauna over at Sew for Dolls. I'll put the channel name here. Um, Shauna did basically exactly that, like which wig. And apparently she did this series before and is kind of thinking about reviving it, which please do, Shauna. Um, where she grabs one doll and puts five or so wigs on and goes, all right, let me know which one you like best. Vote in the comments or whatever. And I don't know if she's planning on gluing them down or just it's a fun thing to see what, what people like. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. Interestingly enough, the video that I watched where Shauna did that was on a doll that she got from the benefit sale, 2023 Madison benefit sale. Um, and that's exactly the, our situation as well. So we have Claudie. I cannot say enough good things about this doll. I love her face mold. I, I mean, stunning. I love her story. I love her collection. Um, I love the heart and soul that seems to have gone into some of the details of like the Madam CJ Walker stuff with her winter release. I, I just adore this doll and I'm really excited to see where things go for her collection and for that face mold. So when we were in um, Madison, my wife and I is the we, uh, when we were in Madison, Wisconsin for the benefit sale, one of our first priorities was let's pick up an extra Claudia if they have her. And they had a ton until they were bought up really quickly. Um, so here is Hazel and beware, she's baldy. Um, in Gwen's dress because I just was taking her out of something and I want to put her in something else real quickly. This I'm going to explain quickly because I do explain it in another video but I don't know which one's going to air first. When I know that I'm not going to glue down a doll's wig then this line of heavier glue and hair residue from the wig that you take off is pretty rough. If you don't do something about it when you take on and off different wigs this can snag them, which is especially annoying if you have a nice spirally curl, like defined curl wig, because it can snag some hairs from it and mess up the curls. So your two options, as far as I know, are sand it down, um, which I've done and works just fine, or take the lazy route <laughs> and do this. So this is what I do. I'm sure painter's tape comes in different shades. This is what I have on hand. It does let me know if I need to keep going when I'm putting a wig on, if I can still see the blue. But, um, yeah, that's my easy thing. And then wigs just slide right on and off, no problem. 
this kind of glue residue, not a big deal. It's here where if you've taken off a wig, you know, it's like leaves chunks sometimes and you can snip the hair down as much as you can, but there's just a lot of glue. So here is Miss Hazel. And the first wig I have is one second. This one. Ooh, the, it's sometimes hard to tell just how gorgeous this, this wig is and that it has a lot of different colors to it. But you can really see it in this light. It looks black, but when you get the light on it, it's got a lot of like burgundy, Merlot wine colors in there. So it's really pretty wig. That's the length of it. I don't know if it's the way that we've stored it or the way that it was stored when it came to us, but you see how everything goes this way, or if that's the design, it all goes this way. It doesn't bother me, it just is what it is. I'm not gonna show you me getting the wig on because it's a hard, it's kind of a hard to film and not really pretty experience. Um, I will tell you that I, like many people, put my thumb like right at this part and hold it as tight as I can on the doll and then stretch the rest of the wig cap back. Um, I think that this might be from Zazu, but I can't recall. If Grace is able to fill in some blanks when she wakes up, then I will add things up here. But otherwise, just be along for the ride. Um, my goal is to do maybe three styles, quick styles. Like, I want to knock this video out today. So three um, styles with each wig just to give you a sense of the versatility of each wig and different looks you can get from it. And I'm going to do six wigs. So, yeah, let's do it. All right, here is the wig with nothing done to it at all. And be right back. And here she is with like the simplest do I could do. Oops, I gotta fix that. Okay, I think I got it. Anyway, um, just a little bit back here, a little bit back here to not have it fall on her face. That's all I did differently for this one. Let me change it up a little more. All right, next look is easy peasy. Just tied it all back and low. I pulled out a couple strands, but you don't have to. Let's see the last one for this look, or for this wig. Or you could do something like this. Just put a wide headband in it. Again, I'm sure that you can do lots and lots of looks, but the idea is just to quickly give you a sense of each of the six wigs by putting them in three quick hairstyles. So this is this wig. And we'll call that number one. So let me go grab number two. All right, this is number two, and I'm quite sure that I got this as part of a lot on eBay, maybe, so I have no idea. I don't think I ever knew who it was from. I think. I think that's the case. Um, if not, this one was Zazu, and a similar one was from a lot. Anyway, one of them I didn't pick out, and the other one I did. So this one, I'll just briefly say, is... Kind of like if 112's hair had a pick taken through the whole thing, if it was picked out. Um, when I first got it, I spent a lot of time and I got it in this nice round shape. And then I've since done things like um, some little poofs or um, headbands or whatever that have changed the shape of it. So I need to spend a little time getting it kind of back in a round shape. But I also want to finish this video today, so it may not be perfect. All right. Give me a second to put it on her and then we'll start looking at different styles. Okay, here she is channeling Tabitha Brown. She looks so cute. Yeah, it's, this side came out a little nicer and rounder than this side did, but I don't want to spend too much time on it. If I were styling her for pictures, I would spend a little more time, but she's so cute. Okay, let me do a couple things with this one. So this is one. I mean, it's wig number two, but style number one. Okay. Gosh, she's cuter by the minute. All right. So all I did here was add a headband. You could put the bow underneath. You could put it on top. You could make this a wider band. You could make it less wide. You could put it right up to the edge or a little bit back. This is how I did it. And I left a little bit down. And I'll do one more. All right. I could keep playing with this wig. I've just been over here I know it was like a second for you, but I've just been over here playing with it. I'm like, ah, I could keep playing with it all day. So cute little puffs. Again, I'm trying to work quickly. So this one's a little less out. This one goes out a little further. I would fix that if I were going to do pictures, but just so you get a sense. 
and I left, oh, I got a little blue showing there. Um, and I left this down, but you could just as easily put it back. You could do these lower, so they're down here. You could do them up higher. You could do them bigger. You could do them smaller. It, it, it is more versatile than a lot of people probably think. All right, so that's wig number two. Let me grab number three. Okay, number three, this one. So it's the only straight wig I've chosen, but I think it looks really good on her. I won't have as many styles to do for it necessarily. I don't know, clip in it, a barrette or something, but um, I've put it on her before and it looks really cute. So one second and I'll show you. All right, here it is. It's so shiny with this ring light. It's like super shiny, lots of movement. It's a bob, so, you know, or a page cut, whatever. It's longer in the front. Okay, so look number one. Look number two. It's just, I grabbed a little piece of hair from here, a little piece of hair from here, put them back, or put them together, and put a bow from the Something Maybe collab in her hair. You could go bigger, you could go smaller, you could go flower, bow, whatever. And look number three is this look. I would go for something like this. This can probably move over a little. Um, if you're going for playful more than sophisticated, if you wanted this to look sophisticated and twist a little bit from each side, I would maybe use um, a clip that blends in with her hair or a bobby pin. So, yeah. All right, so this is wig number three. Let me grab number four. I couldn't remember if I grabbed, four, uh, if I grabbed five or six, but I grabbed six. So um, what I haven't been doing is taking pictures. So you're just going to have to either remember your favorites or <laughs> rewind the video a little bit. Um, but here is number four. So just for reference, this was number two. This is number four. They're very, very different, right? Um, so this one is much smaller and has some spots that are kind of um, more separated or, you know, um, kind of coarser, less defined curls. And then it also has these very springy defined curls. So I have not used this wig very often. I can think of one photo shoot where I did use it. Um, and I liked it. So, uh, let's try it on Claudie Hazel. All right. So here's one look. And I do remember, this is the one I got in a lot. The other one is the, um, the second wig is the one I actually bought. So this is, um, I pushed some of it over here to kind of make a, like side bangs. And um, obviously the headband. This is just a long stretchy piece of cloth that's finished at the ends. Um, having it a little bit longer helps for a doll who has more volume. So, all right, let's see what else I do. Something more playful. If you are going for a younger look, and then I'll try to balance that out with something that's a little more mature. All right, the lighting is just not doing this justice. Um, it looks like a really neon, like, I mean, it's a bright headband, but it looks better to my eye than it does on camera. Um, I did want to point out, though, I wasn't going to keep this one because I'm not totally satisfied with it, but I did want to point out one nice thing about not gluing on a wig Um is in a big wig like this is headband over this hair is a lot and I, it can worry me about like mistreating the curls take the head or take the wig off put the headband on leave it around the neck put the wig on and then just work it back into the hair so this um, did not go down over the hair it just went down over a baldy head so, there's a tip even if this look is not translating well on camera she does look cute and um, I think it's a good tip. So that's one, two, three, four. Let me grab wig number five. All right, wig number five, I clearly have a preference in how it's styled because it's already pulled back like this, but it just braids. Um, oh shoot, there's the seventh wig I wanna show you. Okay, this might've just turned into seven wigs, whatever. Um, so braids. Not that same swoop as the um, kind of spirals that I showed you in wig number one. The This falls a little bit. I mean, still a little bit to one side, but not drastically. So let me get this on her. Um, I might just show this this way. 
and not like a bunch of different styles. I think, yeah. In the interest of time, and since I realized I'm adding a seventh wig, um, I will just show it this way. One second. Okay, so here it is. It's really pretty, very soft. Um, I'll go ahead and take this down just so you can see how it falls naturally when no hair is pulled back. Looks just fine. <laughs> Looks like I made a mark in it. I'll have to fix that. But yeah, it's cute. Pretty sure this is Zazu, but who knows? Who knows? All right, sixth one. Let me just... I'll just grab it. So we have the sixth one is a lox wig. It's a longer lox wig and I've put some beads in it. Um, we have a shorter lox wig that's not glued down on a doll, but it's kind of our CYO slash custom Danny's go-to wig. So I'll put a picture here so you can see it. That's an option for Hazel, but I probably won't use it. Again, even though it's not glued down, Danny claims it. So, um, but this one doesn't go on anybody like in particular. So, let's see how it looks on Hazel. Yeah, this doll is just perfection. Look at her. She looks so good. Okay. So there are some of the beads. I have fewer of them in the back, but I do still have some in the back. These are available on Amazon or wherever. I mean, buy somewhere that's supporting a better business than Amazon if you can. I'm just telling you that they're available in lots of places. I'll do a couple quick things. One nice thing with this with a lox wig, and I can't stand her up very easily, but you can literally just tie it. So... done it's out of her face and you could do you know you could tie them here and here oh let me try that little space buns with locks hold on I've never done it before <laughs> look how cute it is oh my gosh you can do so many things with this wig like I could spend all that you can do one big braid you can do two braids you can do I mean you can French braid it it, it really just depends on where the wefts, you know, show through and, and, and how, whether you're using it for photography, whether you're using it for all around, um, it completely depends, but it's a very, very easy wig to do a lot of things with. I often just do like a little knot somewhere in the back, um, because if I have my hands full and I can't get to a hair tie, it's an easy one to work with, but that's cute. You could do, um, you can make your own little Minnie Mouse ears or have, have these like more tucked in so they're buns or kind of, you know, out letting some of those shorter hairs hang out. Yeah. All right. One more and it's the newest wig we have gotten, which is why I wasn't thinking about it because I went to where all the older ones are stored. So give me a second and we'll come back for a seventh wig. All right. Seventh possibility are these amazing micro braids. Um, Mattel does know how to do this because my daughter has a Barbie who has hair exactly, I mean exactly like this. They just believe, rightfully so, that their price point, their AG customers will not be interested in this kind of wig. Like they've nailed it. They've got it. They don't put them on AG dolls because of what they believe about their customer base and what will sell. I have lots of comments, but that's not the focus of today's video. Um, today's video is making Hazel look amazing in all these different wigs. And this was really nice. I'm so glad this came out in an AG size. So let me get it on her. Okay, here it is on her with nothing done to it. It's perfection. She's perfection. Enough said. <laughs> this wins. No, I don't know if it wins. I really like the locks wig. I like a lot of them. 
um, but you could obviously pull it back like just one side. You could pull back both sides a little bit. You could do something, you know, higher up here. Like uh, that. You could do twisting this and kind of creating some loose volume all the way down. You could do that all the way down and make it into like a low. Ooh, let me try it. Hold on. Oh yeah, that totally works. And you could do more or less of it. You could put all of this back. Um, you could stop it like right here and leave more of it down in the back. I kind of think I'd maybe like that. Yeah. Anyway, so, so much you can do with this. I might do a couple more quick things. I hear the kiddo getting up, so I'll make this the last one. But um, one thing I like to do is put a headband on and then grab, like, but just put it on, not this way, but just put it on directly on top of the head and then take some pieces from the front and just tie them in the back. And it kind of covers a little bit of the headband, but also holds the headband on a little better. So, yeah. Let me quickly show you again because I do hear that I'm needed. So we went with number one. Ah! Number two. Number three. Oh gosh. Number four. Five. Six and seven. Let me know your favorites in the comments. Um, do you own any of these? Do you plan on buying any of them? Do you have any dolls that you like to change out their wigs regularly? What do you think of the name Hazel on her? Because I don't think I've mentioned that before. Anyway, I hope you are having a wonderful day. I will post another video soon. Oh, just real quickly. She'll be okay. She just woke up. It looks really cute with a hat on. So let me just put a hat on her. Never mind. No hat. I'll throw a picture of another doll in this hat. Um, I gotta go. Bye.